we have just finished talking about blogging as a way to earn money online. That video will be coming out tomorrow. So I thought it would be nice to show you some reality and show you some numbers here on the screen, screen in a second. I will also be sharing my checklist for improving the articles on this website. So stay tuned for that or you can skip ahead till, till you see that. So I will be making a new video every single day in this month and, and it might be overwhelming to you but if you like so a dose of reality in the blogging space uh, you should subscribe. If you want to see my evaluation here on the different ways you can earn money online I'll be showing the good and the bad that is also a reason for you to subscribe and then we have to learn how to make to use Google Analytics 4 and I have some quite niche neat things to to show you and videos about that will be coming out as well so if that any of that interests you you should subscribe there will be coming out quite a lot of content this month so but but let's stay on track for the the case study as uh, i've been i've decided to to work here and work more on this side and and try to to improve it so so let's get uh, through this and and uh, have a look at on the screen so for some reason, I, I managed to uh, mess up the <laughs> the Google Analytics code here. That's uh, that's uh, my bad. So the last uh, entry point is the seventh, and there's a hundred and uh, one hundred and ninety one users on the site. So if we have to estimate something, we can take that, divide that by seventeen, and times thirty one. And then we get about 350 users on the site. So if we look at, at the complete um, the complete lifetime of the website, we might need to change to monthly view to, to see that. So uh, this might uh, need to be up here somewhere. It's maybe just a little improvement over last month if my estimate is, is correct. So this is where all the, the updates hit and we will be looking at that in search con console in a second if you've been following the channel you know and you have seen this already but it's uh, somewhat stabilized here even though it, it looks more like a downtrend but but it it stayed here uh, and and it's been stuck here for a while and that is the reason uh, why i need to update this site so no hockey, no hockey stick yet Let's look at Search Console and you can also see here it's been fairly stable for, for this month. And there's uh, quite a lot of days in here where there's zero clicks. So the, most of the traffic is still coming from Bing and DuckDuckGo. And this is not what you want to see on a site that is over a year old. I started this January last year. So so we are over a year and and you would you want you would want to see that that is quite a lot of clicks coming in at this time. But uh, this time but I haven't been that lucky or that skilled depending on what how you look at it. Let's look at a longer time frame just to give you an overview of what that could look like. So this is what you would expect from a, a site that is about half a year old. And normally we would see the, the trend line going upwards and, and end up somewhere around here. But with the Google updates and, and with Google crashing this site for no, no reason that I know of is uh, a, is one of the challenges you we have in in blogging. So it's been flat and stable ever since. And uh, whether or not I will be able to revive this site is a good question. But uh, if uh, you're intrigued by that, that's also a reason for you to subscribe to the channel. Let's look at some earnings. This is uh, the dashboard in Ezoic. Ezoic is the platform I use to get ads on the site. 
Uh, I have a video on the channel you can watch if you want if you want to know how to get in with a young site and, and try to earn a bit of money and and if you want something to compare to you can you can look at this site and see that I've earned a little almost two dollars not not even two dollars here one and a half a little more than that in the month of March and the highest earning month has been in December where uh, there's usually quite a lot of ads December is it's down here somewhere it's just over seven dollars here yeah I've shown you this slide before and this is my checklist for improving this website. Reviewing the articles might be a bit uh, vague here, so I need to, to change that up a bit. So I need to improve EAT, of course. I will be using the uh, chat GBT to help me evaluate what I've already written. And that is also a video that is coming out here on the channel. So I will be talking more about how I, I tend to, to improve that. So uh, another thing I have here is add a personal story. So I've talked about I'm working in this niche I'm writing about and I have quite a lot of stories uh, and, I, and I can dig up stories just to, to put a, a more personal or more um, branding perspective into the articles to, just to, to put some personality into it. And, and that is what that is uh, aimed for. I will also be adding a roadmap and that is maybe specific to my niche, but uh, when you're Googling this type of disease that I'm writing about, you can either be in the beginning or you can be skilled or you can be uh, frustrated that you're not that skilled. So uh, trying to figure out where you are on that scale will also help you to what kind of solution you would need to go for. And most of the search queries in this niche will um, be somewhere on that spectrum. So I'm going to add a visual spectrum to the website. At some point, if this site actually gets some def decent traffic and, and, and gains some authority, I will be sharing the, um, the URL I will be sharing the URL and, and you can have a look. I will be showing you the graphics here in the case studies as well, but um, as soon as I get that up. So I will be adding a roadmap to, to help users navigate the site. And then there is uh, something very important as well. So I will we'll need to think about what is the main focus of my articles and I haven't been doing a great job of that so uh, I will have to to write out something that is the main focus so maybe I should add here clear main focus and structure the article for that specific thing so we're getting uh, so we are getting a little to the edges here. So uh, I've talked about finding research papers as well, and you can go back and, and see the reasoning, reasoning for that, but the, the site is about a specific disease and there is research papers out on that. So, so I will be finding those and, and adding them into the articles. And then I have photos that is on there. I will be adding some Q and A, Q and A in, Sorry, Q and A in the bottom bottom of every article, taking in people also ask, just to to make sure I've covered everything, and then improve the snippet. Whether that is still a good thing or not, I'm not completely sure. And with the chatbots on the rise, uh, that might not be the case. But um, as it looks now. Uh, adding a snippet might be a, a good thing still and it is definitely a good exercise for me to do to uh, be 
quite specific on what this article is about and forcing me to write a very short, precise, concise snippet about the content in that article is um, is a good thing uh, for me anyway. It's a good exercise. I will also be adding some key points. The, the key points uh, from the article three or four just in the, in a box in the top i will be showing you what that looks like when when i get to this so i'm curious if you have anything to add to this list i will be working on it and if you are on my mailing list i will be sending this to you if not you can sign up just below the video here but uh, mainly i'm curious to to hear from you if if you think i've covered everything th that i need to do in order to improve a uh, article to be more than just good i need it to be awesome and there might be something else i've missed here so please let me know in the comment section and remember to subscribe for all the upcoming stuff and also take a look at this video